So guys, I'm going to show you how to use uh, this website called Ready Player Me to make an avatar for your uh, virtual production. So I'm already logged in. You might have to create an account, etc. So I'm going to create a new avatar. It's pretty simple. Um, now I want to show you one of the features that's really cool is you can actually take a photo of yourself and it'll do a be its best job as uh, possible to make an avatar using this. So I just did that using the uh, camera on my laptop. So let's just wait a second for this to load. So here it is. This is the first screen. So I'm going to, I don't know, I think this is probably skin color. You know, do whatever. And you can have a lot of fun here with uh, the clothes. Uh, you know, maybe I'm doing a medieval game. Maybe it's a sports racing game. So I want this kind of outfit. Maybe I'm looking for sort of a gentleman. Uh, and so I'm going to go like that. The hair, I could change it. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be exactly. This. this is supposed to be a stylized version of, of me. But maybe, you know, I want to change the hair for some reason. Um, let's just go down here. Maybe I want to get over here. Uh, I want the whole thing here. I'm not going to spend too much time on these features. I'll let you play around. Definitely needs to give them glasses here. These are the funky glasses we always see. And maybe a cool hat or something. Let's see here. I can find a kind of fedora or something. No, that hat is not what I want. I don't see a fedora, but that's fine. So I'll just remove the hat. And this is my character. So I'm going to go and enter the hub. So to prepare my avatar. So it, it remembers the avatars that you've created. So this is the second one I've created. And what I want to do now, since I want to bring it into Unreal Engine and uh, also rig it in Mixamo, I am going to actually download this and download the uh, is a GBL file, I guess, uh, which doesn't open in Maya, but does open and you can import in uh, Blender. So we're going to just wait till that's done. Okay, so I just downloaded the GBL. GLB file and now I'm going to go and open Blender and so in this new project I'm going to delete everything that's in there camera and the light and you'll know everything's deleted when you look over here there's nothing so here you go file and even if you haven't used Blender much here's a couple tricks for you uh, the middle mouse button to move it's a little bit different and the shift click key oops we do not want to move that so we'll control Z um let's just restart a new project if you move that I, there's easy ways to to, to to fix that but you don't want to move that let's click here and, and so shift key is another way to move around so let's just import the character so we're going to import from glb file and so you go get your character and i think mine's in documents so I found the file here. It doesn't allow you to rename it, so it can be a little bit confusing. So I'll import this in right now. And I'm going to just show you a few tricks. So as I, so the shift key uh, allows me to, uh, oops, I do not want to move that. And I don't know why I keep hitting on it. Give me a second. I just want to show you that coming in from uh, Ready Player One, this character already has the full skeleton, the full, full armature. So if you see, uh, you know, these the bones are all there. And if you want to see what it looks like in Blender, now the light took the lights out, so it looks a little bit pale. But don't worry about that; it's actually fine. So we're actually all we're doing is importing this and exporting it as an FBX. So let's do that right now. Export, and we're going to go FBX, which is probably the best. Uh, export format to work in Unreal Engine. So over here, only thing we need to change is change this to copy and make sure to check this box. Otherwise, it'll come in as a gray character missing all the colors. So you definitely want to do that. And now you can finally name him. I'll call him, use my name, Dubo in a suit. And so if you have different characters, uh, when you bring him into Mixamo, all the animations align with the skeleton. Of that character so I'm not sure if if I do two different ready player me characters if I can swap the animations back and forth but I'll test that so let's export this and we'll just wait for that to be done 
So I've created a fresh project and what I'm going to do is create a folder to bring in my character. So I'm going to just call it ready me or something like that. And I always like to give it a color so that I know it's something that I'm playing around in. I always do this with my students. And what I want to do now is before we do this, we actually want to bring it into Mixamo. So what I'm going to do is upload my character that I just exported from Blender. Uh, so it's called Dubo in a suit. And you'll see I won't have to rig it because it already had a skeleton like I showed you in Blender. And what I want to do right now is immediately just upload and download it so that it picks up uh, basically uh, it's in Mixamo so that I can get the animations that I need for free. So let's just wait. For that. So one thing that you want to make sure is if you were using Mixamo before that you log out and log back in, because what you want is you don't want an animation. here. What you want is just the T-Pose. So as long as that's happening, just click download. And what you're going to do is upload just the typos with all the uh, materials and so on. So as you can see, here it is, the bow in a suit. And now it's, make sure, because it's got the same name as my last one. And I want to re-upload that here. So I'm going to go import game. And I'm going to look up the bow in a suit. So here it is. I'll just make sure it's the right one. Yes, it is. And here's a tip too. If you've already were playing around in this, always reset so that it's set up at the basic default settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this in. And now just ignore all these errors. No big deal. And what we do is we have, we want to check because sometimes there's been glitches in the past, but uh, what I want to do is I should be able to drag it in. It should be full size if everything worked out well. And now this character doesn't have any animations. Why did we bring it into Mixamo? Because I want to go select some of the animations that I'm going to use with the character. So there he is. The shaders are compiling. So everything's working great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a folder inside of here called animations for this particular character. Okay. So I'm going to open that. And I'm going to go to uh, get the different animations from Mixamo. So let's do that here. So the reality is you should get all the animations you think you need for that character. You should keep a copy of this somewhere saved on your hard drive. So if you need later animations, that's really important. So I'm looking for idle. And one of the things you need to make sure is that it looks fine in here. And that it suits whatever it is you're looking for. So just take a few seconds, like this looks weird, I don't want this one. And make sure it's not, Some sometimes you see these little icons, it means it's an actual animation, which is perfect, which is what I want. And maybe I want to space the arms out a little bit, because whatever, you don't want that, uh, you know, that Z uh, crossing or whatever they call it, uh, whatever. So this character looks perfect, so I'm going to download this one, and I'm going to remove the skin, because I already unported it, so there's no need to do that. So it makes it a little bit quicker. And I'll just bring one in just so you can see. And the reality is you should find all the animations you think you need for your virtual production now. Now is the easiest time. There's a couple things that I recommend, like the gesture pack, which has, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, cool gestures. And maybe, in fact, I will uh, just click on it and it will apply it to this. And it will I'll download it with like a pack with all these animations. So I'll do that too. And again, let's, uh, I don't know if that one's different. So let, let's just wait for now. I'll test that out. Okay. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to import the animation. So let's go import the game. And what was it called? Again, it was called idle. I believe. Yep. So there it is. So this time, this is where the error could possibly could happen, is you must select your Dubo skeleton in a suit. I want to have the right one. So there, that's the one. And that's really important because if you did another character in a different suit, even though it was done in Ready Player Me, you would have to use that skeleton. I'm, all, I'm positive that's how it works. So what I'll do is just bring this in. And all this, there's only one animation right now. I'm going to just drag it in here. And I'm going to press Alt-S just to see if it works. 
and there it is. So I can bring this into sequencer, etc. So I have a brand new cool character that is customized and ready to go for my virtual productions. All right? Any questions? Let me know.